It's budget day. Will Jeremy Hunt slash inheritance tax? Will he fund our armed forces? Will he pull a rabbit out of the hat that will win the Tories the next election? As we mourn the tragic loss of life in Israel and Gaza, the Prime Minister reminded us last week of the need to fight extremism and heal divisions. So I start today by remembering the Muslims who died in two world wars in the service of freedom and democracy. We need a memorial to honour them. I've decided to allocate £1 million towards the cost of building one. Whatever your faith or colour or class, this country will never forget the sacrifices made for our future. Oh, uh, £1 million statue to Muslims who gave their lives in World War I and World War II. Hey, look, fine. All right, all right. Look, what else have you got there, Mr Hunt? I have three gorgeous children the oldest of whom has been patiently listening in the gallery. The NHS is rightly the biggest reason most of us are proud to be British. Uh, no. The reason most people are proud to be British is not because of our most bloated and dysfunctional public service. We all went outside and clapped for the NHS during Covid. Now we should just go outside and set fire to a £50 note instead. That'll get him dancing. There we go. Yeah, lovely stuff. He's promised to close to another £7 billion for the NHS. OK? For people who bang on about the NHS being understaffed and under-resourced, figures show that we will be spending around £180 billion quid on the NHS in the coming year. Since 2013, the overall number of employees in the NHS is up 35%. Doctors are up 37%. Nurses, midwives and health visitors up 23%. Support for clinical staff up 45%. NHS infrastructure and support staff up 41%. We have around 1.3 million people working in the NHS. Of course, the elephant in the room is here. Rapid, huge population growth fueled by mass migration. Our population in 2013 was about 64 million. Today it's about 68 million. By the mid-2030s, that's expected to be 73.7 million. We are heading towards the highest tax burden since 1948. What are we paying for? Record waiting lists, billions of pounds in negligence claims, junior doctors out on strike every two minutes, and they're all overstretched. Why? Could it be anything to do with the millions more people we keep piling on top of it? Jeremy Hunt said three times at the dispatch box today that the Treasury couldn't keep relying on mass immigration. And then, wallop, the Office for Budget Responsibility upped its projected migration prediction from 245,000 in the medium term to 315,000. It's really great to have people coming to this country to work in the NHS. I want to make that absolutely abundantly clear. And I will get a lot of comments from people here saying that if it wasn't for immigration, we wouldn't have an NHS. Yeah, absolutely fine. But we have a lot of other people coming here as well, don't we? Did you know that the Department for Work and Pensions has stopped telling us how many people are on welfare by their nationality? Basically, they're hiding how many immigrants are on benefits. And HMRC isn't revealing tax contributions by nationality. So we don't officially know which demographic now pays more tax. Lovely. Our politicians are addicted to mass immigration. Our NHS is creaking at the seams. And we're all paying for it. 